external force acting on the bike when the rider stopped pedaling. So why didn't the bike stop? Here is another activity for you to observe. If you pull out the cardboard with a jerk, the coin will drop into the tumbler. Why doesn't the coin get pulled away with the cardboard? Both the phenomena that you just observed can be explained through the law of inertia, also called Newton's first law of motion. Newton presented three laws that govern the nature of motion. These laws are derived from Galileo's ideas and experiments. Let's take a look at Galileo's experiments with inclined planes. Consider a marble resting on a plane inclined on both sides. Now, the marble is released from the left, that is, end A. The marble rolls down the slope and travels up the other slope till it reaches the same height from which it was released. In this case, the inclinations of the planes and on both sides were equal. Therefore, the distance covered by the marble rolling down was the same as the distance it climbed up on the other plane. Let's see what happens if the angle of inclination of the right-hand side of the plane is gradually decreased. The marble travels a longer distance till it reaches its original height. Higher the range. angle of inclination of the right-hand side of the plane has been reduced laboratory to zero. Laboratories are used in laboratories the plane and factories is horizontal. to measure liquids How with far a wide the marble temperature range. Now? The temperature range on it a laboratory quite a distance. extends from minus 10 the degrees Celsius to 110 degrees because of the frictional Celsius. force opposing its motion. In practical situations, it is difficult to achieve zero unbalanced Except for the temperature force because range, of frictional laboratory force. thermometers are designed just like clinical However, thermometers. friction can be minimized by using a smooth marble on a smooth surface and using lubricants. If the surface of the plane In order is completely to use frictionless, the thermometer, first the marble need to will travel forever, its trying to reach its original height. Thus, consider any motion, true consecutive movers on the scale. unbalanced forces or the net force on the marble for zero, instance, 37 and 36. From this, Galileo between the two that an unbalanced external force is required to change the motion of an object. Next, count the number of divisions between these Once two the numbers. Once the object starts moving, the application of no net force the is number required of divisions to here keep it in five. uniform motion. Consider Divide the, the difference of space between the two consecutive numbers, numbers by the number of divisions between them. about 20 years ago. Deep in space, it keeps moving the even result without will give the, the value of engines of each calibration. There is no frictional force in space Hence, to stop this it. thermometer. Each calibration the reads of a value of 0.2 degrees Celsius. West, or to keep moving with the same velocity is called inertia. Newton's Let's check first how well you can read a thermometer. An object remains in a state of rest or of uniform motion in a straight line unless compelled to change that state by an applied force. That's why the first law of motion is also known as the law of inertia. Clinical and laboratory thermometers are used to measure temperatures of Can different objects. Can you think objects. of some real-life applications of this law? Hence, their method of usage also differs. Well, Consider the While concept of wearing safety belts in cars. Hygiene is very important. Why do we need these belts? So the first step is to clean the thermometer with an antiseptic solution. When a car is moving, we are at rest with respect to the seat, but moving along with the car with respect to the road. In the Next, unfortunate hold event it of a horizontal car crash, and the check car if the mercury level is below 35 degrees Celsius. 
Even when the car not, stops, hold our the thermometer first to continue and jerk it a few times to bring the level of below 35 degrees Celsius. Without a seatbelt, our no. bodies would either Place the thermometer below the tongue for two minutes at a high speed, or go flying through the windshield. As the mercury gets heated the due to the body temperature, it will rise. Another common example you can see is the game of carrots. Read the temperature by holding it horizontally Attempt to in the line of sight. At the bottom of a pile of coins. With a strong Do you notice a small coin moves out or kink while the other coins just above in the, the bulb fall vertically? This to the constriction table. prevents the mercury level from dropping of even after it is removed rest. from the mouth. Can you now use the law of inertia? A laboratory to thermometer why doesn't have a constriction. The bike doesn't stop immediately when you apply the brakes. Hence, the thermometer the should be read over the while it is still in falls contact into with the, the liquid. When the cardboard is pulled out. While using a laboratory thermometer, hold it upright in the liquid without tilting it. The bike doesn't stop immediately. Ensure that because the bulb is completely surrounded by the liquid, but not However, touching the container's base. After a while, because of the opposing force of friction. When the mercury in the capillary stops rising, note the temperature. In the absence of this frictional force, the bike would have the continued The Fahrenheit running. scale is named Rather after its like founder, satellite. Gabriel Fahrenheit. Similarly, he proposed this scale in the year 1724. Because of inertia of rest. So far, we have considered inertia in terms of rest or the speed of an object. But velocity refers to direction as well as speed. When a car takes a turn at a high speed, you are thrown to one side. Why does this happen? Because, owing to inertia of motion, your bodies want to continue traveling in a straight line. The engine is applying an unbalanced force to change direction. Our inertia makes us slip to the side of the seat opposite the direction of the turn. Discuss in groups the answers to these questions. is able to kick and move the football easily, but not the stone. That's because the inertias of all objects differ. Heavier objects have more inertia. In other words, heavier objects offer more resistance to a change in the state of rest or motion. What would be easier to pull forward? A bicycle or a truck. Why? The bicycle is lighter and hence offers less resistance or of inertia to being made to move from a state of rest. Thus, the mass of an object can be said to be the measure of its inertia.